Hello, everybody. Happy New Year 2024. It is now. Can you believe it? We've made it to 2024, and uh, we had a great time uh, last night. Me and Victoria went out and celebrated and had a really fun time with the band The Refrigerators. They did an excellent performance, and the place was packed, and we just had a great time. So very fortunate to have that th those times where we can go out and do that. And uh, now it's time to get down to business for the I Am Limitless uh, events coming up here really quickly in February. Uh, for Rise TV coming back on the air after two weeks off, which felt like a lifetime for me here. <laughs> and uh, he didn't know what to do with himself. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and of course, you know, all the stuff that we have planned for you guys this year. So we're really looking forward to this year and a lot of growth and a lot of uh, amazing knowledge coming out of Quantum, Sol uh, Quantum Solar Initiative, the QSI team, coming out of uh, the, the Truther community with uh, Lewis Herms. And coming out of even Paul Check's community, all those type of places that we are really invested in and stuff like that. So, of course, we have with me here, we have uh, my beautiful wife there, uh, the queen of dreams, the natural nurse, the Zen LPN. How are you, Victoria? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm doing well. Not too bad from last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure like half of America is, uh, is, is struggling a little bit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, it was a great time. We had a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to 2024. Any goals for yourself, Victoria? Uh, yeah, I'm coming up with a word for the meaning of this year that I'm going to use as a goal. Okay, just one word is going to be your power word, huh? Throughout one the word. year. All right, she's got a power word coming for us. <laughs> well, maybe she'll reveal it on our next episode <laughs> of Rise TV. It and sounds then, good. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the traveling motivational speaker, teacher of manifestation, cosmic human design coach. That would be Jaron Kenyon. How are you, Jaron? And Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Last night, we uh, let off some lanterns at a big light festival where you nice. wrote all these intentions on a lantern. Several thousand people there with great That's music cool. and let it off into the sky on this fake New Year. No, just kidding. We won't get into that. <laughs> yes. Hope everybody's out there He's doing well. It. It's going to be an amazing year. Second seal time, everyone. Ooh, little little oh, trip yeah. there. That's right. It's going to be fun. And uh, definitely, like Greg said, we have a great January ahead of us for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so let's get down to business here, a little bit of what's to happen here. I know that we have some groups um coming to the awareness of what we're doing here with uh, the I Am Limitless Tour and the people that are going to be involved with it. And one of those people that are going to be in person at the event is Lewis Herms uh, from, of course, uh, Screw Big Gov and um, the Truth Tours. Uh, he's done 77 tours and he's going to be joining us for our tour, the I Am Limitless Tour for this first one, at least. And you were and, just interviewed the other day. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and you know, it's been a lot of fun with him uh, seeing his growth over there and seeing his community and all of the areas they touch on. And uh, we're really looking forward to being with him on this tour. But he's also interested in what we're doing right now in, in, in this uh, upcoming uh, 2024 uh, for this New Year's resolution type thing. We are going to be doing a challenge and it's called the 72 hour fast challenge uh and uh, this is for our I, getting ready for our i am limitless uh um tour because becoming limitless means breaking down your barriers breaking down those things those habits we do those loop patterns the programming the things that really bind us and bound us uh from really becoming limitless and one of those things is food we don't realize how much food controls our lives and how much uh, it does to our systems and the things that we have going on. We want to clear out our, our systems, right? And the only way you can really reset those systems officially is really going through this fasting. And it's, a, it's also a spiritual uh, movement as well, and we'll get into that. But I just wanted to touch on this for the groups that are coming into this and just uh, uh, finding out about this for the first time. Um, me, Jaron, uh, certainly have done very long fast. I think, Jaron, you made it uh, yeah. 72 hours once, I believe. Is that true? Yeah, I did a 76-hour one. Wow. And I wasn't even hungry at the end. That was the funny part. I wasn't, awesome. but I decided, ah, eh, that's enough. 
felt really <laughs> great though. <laughs> and I've gone uh, yeah. over, I think I went like 55 hours or something like that. Um, and uh, so this will be a, a new record for me uh, going 72. But what I wanted to, to do is I want to, first of all, break down the, uh, the idea of um, the mindset of being limitless we're going to have a lot of fears through this. It's going to be uncomfortable at times. It's going to be a new frontier for some people, right? So don't look at it as a failure if you don't make it, you know, through the whole 72 hours. Don't make it uh, something that you're going to get mad about or frustrated about. This isn't supposed to be about frustration. This is supposed to be about finding that limitless part of you. And so when we go through something like this, we have to keep that in mind that we are pushing our boundaries. We're changing something about our lives and we're trying to work through our habits. We're trying to work through the things that um, um, constantly are looping in our lives, such as feeling hungry, such as meal times, the things you do around a meal time, the things you do after a meal time. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a much different thing. You're gonna have a, a newfound bunch of energy you never knew you had before during this fast. Uh, you know, Jaron, did you experience some of that when you were fasting for so long? Like, what do I do with all this time? And, and maybe you had a lot of energy. Well, for me, the first day, the evening, I felt hungry, you know, the normal, well, God, I should be eating. And, uh, that's how I felt when I went to bed. But then after that, I woke up the next day and I started to notice more energy for sure. And, um, if anything, you just get calmer. I felt calmer, less anxious, um, and uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I mean, I, I've done several fasts throughout my life, but that was the only time I actually did, you know, the full three days, three days straight. And by the end, like I said before, I, I had lots of energy. I was very clear and I probably could have went two, three, four more days. No problem. Personally, I felt fine. I even exercised twice and went to the gym. And uh, I know some people are afraid of those things, but I had actually had more energy at the gym on the third day when I went, which I know you've probably experienced many times, Greg, because often you you do work out at, on a fast. Yeah, and I actually went through a whole entire year of working out fasted every time. So I would um, do a lot of intermittent fasting. So I would quit at dinner time, and I would eat at some point during the day in the afternoon. So maybe it'd be one o'clock, maybe it'd be two o'clock. But in that lunch period, I would go and work out at the gym. So I had already been fasting for 13, 14, 15 hours. And I would go into the gym and work out. And the first time I did it, I was a little afraid. I was like, Oh my God, you know, I'm not going to have the energy. I'm going to get lightheaded. I'm going to pass out those type of fears, right? You see those fears come up, but it actually, I felt rejuvenated. I felt like I had a lot of energy. Um, especially when you when you get going and about five, 10, 15 minutes in, all of a sudden you're like, you're in a, like an euphoria type of atmosphere. You feel really good. And I felt a huge change in my body because during that period of time, you have a lot of um, human growth hormone being released uh, on those fasts at that period of time. So it was really beneficial in that way. But there's something I wanted to mention also. Uh, Victoria brought this up to me and I didn't think about it, but you know, for some people who may be a little bit afraid of fasting this long, or they just want to try some, um, there is options. So uh, Victoria mentioned maybe fa fasting for a day and then going into an elimination diet, such as a fruit diet for a couple of days. So fruit only. And this is very popular with uh, Paul Check. Paul Check does a lot of elimination diet. What you don't realize is a lot of what we eat, we have infl inflammation from, and this causes a lot of disease in the, in the, in the body. And so um, when you do an elimination diet where you only go fruit, for example, you start to realize that your body changes. It's feeling different. It's flowing different. Um, there is something to eliminating a bunch of food groups from your diet and just going with the one for a little bit. And this could be very beneficial. So that is an alternative to those out there who may not want to do the entire 72, but can f switch over to a, uh, a, a juice diet or a fruit diet. Um, I'd be careful with vegetables because vegetables cause a lot of uh, inflammation, allergy, uh, allergic reactions can, can happen from different varieties of uh, vegetables. I find fruits to be much smoother and much more a way of uh, easing into something. So 
You guys can try that too. Um, Victoria, I think you're going to try the fruit one. Is that uh, true? Um, possibly. I have a few options to go with. I personally cannot do three days without fasting. I get low sugars and I don't function well. So um, I'll probably do a full you know, 24 hours um, fasting and then go to fruit. Um, there's also a Mediterranean diet um, and what's called a uh, pescatarian diet as well. Um, but again, it's mainly fruits and vegetables. So it depends on which way you go. But if I go the fruits and vegetables route, it's probably going to be with juicing as opposed to just eating it raw. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you might do a juice, a juicer type, yes. uh, next two days after, after the fr initial 24 hours. So, yeah. And there's a lot of fruits that are good for weight loss, grapefruit, apples, um, passion fruit, kiwi, and of course the melons, anything with a lot of water in them. Yeah. That's what you're getting a lot of the water too, which is great. Yep. So, uh, in this 72 hour fast, uh, you can join us on our telegram page, uh, t.me slash I am limitless live on there. You'll be able to join our journey through this fasting. And on there, I have PDF printouts for you guys. So three pages of, uh, guidelines for this water, uh, black coffee, black tea fast, right? So, and it gives you um, ideas of things to help keep your electrolytes up and, then min and minerals up because when you're drinking a lot of water during this fast, you're going to notice number one, you're going to pee a lot. Mm. Your body's flushing out a lot of stuff. So be prepared that every, <laughs> every hour on the hour, you're <laughs> going to the bathroom. Every for me. <laughs> uh, and be prepared that minerals are, are going, getting flushed out of your body. So you need to replenish those with the pink Himalayan salts I love. Um, there's also, also Celtic salts. So those are two really good alternatives to uh, table salt. That's not the, the best place for you to get to your minerals. So I would uh, pink Himalayan salts are found everywhere now in stores. Um, they used to not be, but now they're pretty much every store. Yeah. Uh, the Celtic salt's a little bit harder to find. More expensive. Too. And it's a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Um, but, uh, it's very good. It's packed full of minerals. Uh, Jaren, any other, um, guidelines or tips you would give, uh, those out there? Oh, you're on mute. Jaren. Yeah, I was going to go with the, uh, Celtic salts as well. I mean, to be honest, I found it at health food stores for very cheap recently. Okay. So okay. some of you, <laughs> you know, don't order it online, but some of you may be able to find it. I don't think there's anything higher. And then when I've done uh, kinesiology tests with it, with several people, it always wins. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the the blue the blue bag, Celtic mm -hmm. salt, amazing yes. stuff, obviously. And uh, you mentioned the pink salts, um, anything electrolyte based. And even if people want a little like energy, you know, I could say a little honey, mm -hmm. maybe a little honey and lemon um, can help for people with a little bit of the sugar issues. Yeah. Um, just as a thought for people out there, but everybody's different, right? Everybody's unique and there's not, this is designed for us to all do it together and all to, you know, move forward in a positive direction, whatever way we decide to do. And we all have to feel in our own bodies and, you know, decide when it's a little too much or listen to your body, see what it's telling you. But there's a difference between your body telling you naturally versus your cravings and your, your little organisms in your body that want to, be fed off of you. So you have to check out those two differences. Yeah. The cravings will be the hardest thing to bite down on or not bite down on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll get uncomfortableness for sure at times, yeah. and then it'll go away for a long period of time. You won't even think about it. And then it'll come back <laughs> for, for an hour or so. And then you'll be like, Oh my God, I'm so hungry. But then it'll go away again. Um, being around a lot of really good smelling food too, is also going to oh, affect gonna that. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to salivate, <laughs> you're going to be, <laughs> but again, this is the journey. This is the discipline. This is the spiritual discipline. So all of that stuff, uh, combined. So I don't, don't quote me on this, but I think Lewis is going to join us on this fast. So I'm looking forward to that, but, um, uh, he's definitely going to be, uh, promoting this and, and putting it out to the group for everybody to get into that limitless mindset. I know Lewis loves limitless, uh, the term limitless and thinking about it and the way, um, it is, um, described through, through us at rise. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. Um, you're going to go through this stage of autophagy where it's going to clean these cells. It's going to clean you out. And in, they say in 72 hours that uh, cancer cells, all that kind of crap is out of the body. So you're able to be kind of a new person and you're able to, to re uh, enter the world 
as a new person, right? And then you get a year of getting toxic, intoxicated, right? <laughs> With all these different things we do. And then you can flush again, you know, but this is something that um, is really good to do on a regular basis. It's just that we don't, right? Because society's not built like this anymore. Right. So there used to be a time where fasting was a big deal and it was a big spiritual movement, but uh, it's not really uh, talked about much anymore. So, but it's excellent for us all. Um, and it's going to change your body. You're going to have uh, a lot of weight dropped. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to stay off. Uh, some of it will, but a lot of it's water weight and that type of thing. So, you know, when you start re-entering the eating field, um, that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to come back uh, some. But also... No, do not eat the same amount of food that you were eating before. <laughs> this is like a reset. Yep. It's just shrinking it your stomach back down to its normal size. So you're not eating as much as you were before and getting back to a normal portion. And it's, it's going to be, um, a, a break, uh, uh, it's going to be a, a stage into eating. So when we break this fast, so we're starting on January 4th at 6 PM Eastern, and then we're not going to eat until Sunday night, uh, 6 PM Eastern. So that would be the, so when we start this before, so it'd be the seventh, the seventh would be when we're going to eat, right? Seventh. Yeah. At 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, so what I'm breaking it with, and which I suggest people break it with, is bone broth. So um, bone broth is very good uh, for, for doing this because of all the great nutrients in it. And it's very easy on the body and it can absorb really easily. So I like a little soup, right? A little something that's not going to be much to digest to start off with. And then we're going to ease into eating again. Because if you go right into eating a ton you're going to be very sick. It's going to, it's going to be very tough on your body to get back into that digestive mode. And you're going to realize just how much you load your body full of food yeah. and how much you expect your body to get through, uh, in that little period of time when you, when you stuff yourself. So, uh, it's a very interesting journey. Now, the other thing I want to bring up before we get to what rise TV is bringing you for this month is I want to bring, um, uh, Jason Bashir's uh, clip on about fasting and how it's a spiritual journey as well. Because I think this is a very important part of it that uh, people don't uh, see all the time. So let's take a look at Jason Bashir's here from Archaics. Yeah, but what you're describing to me, the fasting and all this stuff, the that gives them this lucid period is they are a actually damaging the interface between the soul and the in the central nervous system the more you fast the more you don't feed the avatar the more the avatar is separated from the abilities the central nervous system provides it once that central nervous system is 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 damaged or impeded in any way the soul can see clear more clearly the surrounding environs it can experience and understand more clearly what's going on around it it's because it's not jacked in actually fasting fasting is actually freeing the soul from the imprisonment of the avatar so it can it can see and experience what's really around us and and do incredible things now on the same token i found another way to all right so that's jason Bashir's talking about um see he believes that the nervous system is what locks us into the 3d world so as we don't feed the body he's saying that the soul can now separate itself from that nervous system and actually become more aware of what it truly is. Uh, Jaron, what's your thoughts on what Jason Bashir just said there? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a variety of practices and mediums of which to arrive more to your spirit consciousness, your eternal, infinite, immortal nature, which is kind of where I go with limitless. This is, this is who we are as beings. We are immortal beings. We are infinite potential beings. We are co-creative beings with the cosmos, and we are far more than our body. We aren't our body. We just simply have one here in this realm, in this experience. And so we're a little extra jacked in, a little extra on the lower dense <laughs> sense of uh, the experience that we could have. And so anything that can elevate our consciousness to where we don't have to filter as much as he said of the central nervous system or of the body and its and it's mechanisms that keep us, um, you know, stuck in the illusion a little extra than we need to be in the Maya. So, you know, we can break free. That's the point here. We can break free. We can take steps up the ascension uh, chain or, you know, 
stairway to heaven, so to speak, to arrive more to clarity, more to trueness, more to really seeing and feeling what's actually out there. And this fasting is a great start to your new year of becoming more of your limitless self and of clearing yourself so that you can see things as they are instead of how, instead of how your senses are telling you of what is real. Yeah, absolutely. And so we're looking forward to this um, coming up in just a few days. So get prepared for uh, for the 4th and um, at 6 p.m. And uh, on that Telegram channel and uh, using our YouTube channel as well, we're going to be updating you and kind of talking talking you through and, and giving you updates on what's going on. And then uh, on Sunday, when we have our first Rise TV of the year, we're going to have a Team Quantum Stellar Initiative on with us. And uh, during that, we will be fasting. So um, it'll be really interesting. And then that night, we will break it. Um, and I'll probably go live for that too when I break it with um, some uh, bone broth. So it'll be a really interesting time for doing this uh, as a group, as a community, because we believe in community. And part of that community um, is during this event here for the I Am Limitless in Florida coming up in February 16th and 17th, we are doing more the merrier packages. So that means the more people that you package together to bring up to four, you get a huge discount. So uh, if you get two of you, then it's a discount. If you get three of you, even bigger discount. If you get four of you, even a bigger discount. So you can come from different areas of the, of the world, of the country, and uh, come join us, but you can buy those tickets together because we believe in the community and the team and, and doing things as a, a, a togetherness, right? And so we're really excited for that. Um, anything else you want to add to the um, I Am Limitless uh, live event coming up, Jaron, um, before we get to uh, the, the next three Rise TVs? Okay, just briefly. I mean, you know, we're going to be in the field together of magic. So... When one or more gather, and there will be many of us, of a high consciousness, or let's say a purely intentional being, we're all going to be there, and we're going to elevate the field, and we're going to have opportunities for transformation of real transformation, you know, real release, real reset, real clarity, real visioning, um, discovering your body, understanding more of how you function with your cosmic human design and helping us with manifestation. So this is, as Greg said, it's a gathering as a team and we know the vortex will build and that that 72 hours or that 48 hours will be a transformation that we'll always be able to look back on in our life and say, this is when I said, yes, this is when I was ready for my next step. And this is when I elevated and rose with a, uh, a variety of other people from all over the country and world, as Greg said, in order to, um, live in the reality I wish to see next. So it's a good New Year t talk today. Look forward to February for for that opp opportunity for everyone out there. Yeah, that's right. And move out of the way, Tony Robbins events, because here comes I am limitless, and uh, <laughs> it's a whole nother level to what can be done with the with the human being. And we believe in unlocking the the real unique powers, the superpowers that are in within that are dormant that we can really tap into and, and that limitless mindset, right? And really get some amazing things done in this world. Um, so we're really looking forward to that and meeting all of you in person. So great stuff there. If you want tickets or look at it, uh, what the event's all about, you can see that link right there, thebrittanyrenee.com slash I am limitless. Uh, or you can just go to risemediatv.com and you can click on that as well. So um, great stuff there. Love it. I'm really looking forward to this uh, coming up. Um, really appreciate all those groups that are involved with us, with the QSI community, um, the uh, Truther Tour community, um, and the Lewis Herms community. Uh, and then, uh, of course, Paul Check's stuff, Paul Check's community as well. Um, and then all the other people out there that are just... Um, part of this and just understanding where we can go in awareness and spiritual awakening. So really looking forward to this rise TV coming up. Uh, we've taken a couple weeks off, so we're really looking forward to this, a reset in 2024. Uh, first show, I mean, it's going to be a big January. Uh, first show is with quantum stellar initiative, uh, Emily, uh, Nick and, what was the other uh, person? Manuel. Manuel. Uh, so we're looking forward to them. I have not met Manuel yet, but I look forward to I hear a lot about him. Great reputation. Uh, I have met Nick before. Uh, of course, Emily, because we do that every Wednesday night. And um, we're looking forward to this show because they always bring cutting edge stuff. 
Um, they are really in one of the most uh, amazing places uh, with knowledge, with technology, with the future of what's coming. They're there. And uh, a lot of them can't talk necessarily about everything that they're involved in, but they can reveal quite a bit. And uh, we can go into um, the realm of money and technology involved with, guess what? Spirituality. We don't hear that, right? It's all one. It's all energy. And so we're looking forward to talking with them. Um, and then the, the second show of January, the 14th, would be with Lewis Herms. Of course, the one and only Lewis Herms, who's going to come on with us and talk about Limitless and the I Am Limitless event coming up and many other things he's involved with. And then the third week of January, the 21st, uh, we will have on a Czech practitioner show. So it's going to be a bunch of people, past guests that we've had on and one other that has not been on with us yet. Um, but we are going to have uh, Dr. Nathan Riley, who was just amazing on our show. You remember him, Victoria, and yeah. all the knowledge that he's doing and all the things outside the box in the medical field he's doing. Uh, we're going to have um, Greg uh, Schmash, I think. Schmash. Schmash. Schmaus. Yeah, Schmaus. That's Schmash. it. Uh, but he's an amazing practitioner. We just had him on like uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, something like that. He was our last show that we did. Yep. Uh, we're going to have uh, Jason Picard, who me and Victoria have actually visited his house. Uh, he's not too long, for, uh, not too far from us. Uh, another amazing practitioner and just so much great knowledge. Um, archetypes as well, as along with Greg. He does archetypes um, and uh, just a wealth of knowledge. And then the couple of uh, Mimi and Chase, who we had on talking about uh, their podcast and their mushroom business and all kinds of things that they do. So we're going to have this variety, uh, along with one other surprise guest, a variety of knowledge in all these different areas. So when we hit on a topic, you're getting all of these different points of view from these amazing teachers and educators. Uh, anything to add to all that lineup, Jaron? Uh, what's your thoughts? <laughs> They're going to be big, powerful shows, all yeah. three of them. Great start. And so I can, are, I can feel all three and how uh, great of a charged energy and high information it's going to be for everyone out there. So I think that's enough said there. But three big weeks. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Victoria, yes. uh, I know you are a big uh, Paul Check fan. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Paul is so busy, he can't make it on the show with us. But um, yep. all of those practitioners, I mean, uh, how, how much, you know, have you enjoyed having them on individually and then see this group coming your way? It's incredible. They all have quite the different personalities. They all have um, different types of education in regards to, you know, different topics and their specialties and everything. Um, I know that um, Chase and Mimi. Yep. I know Mimi is working with Dr. Riley yes. uh, for women. Uh, which HPV and everything, which is absolutely amazing because it's a huge issue. Um, so I think it's going to be a very big uh, knowledge-filled show with them, and it's going to be fun because they're all fun people. Yeah, and speaking of community, they they all just enjoy one another, respect yep. one another, love one another, and they just bring out so much knowledge in each each person. You know, when they talk and they, uh, you know, it's like if you were to reset the government and want to rebuild the way society should be lived, you'd probably put all of these people on your board, yeah. right? I mean, that's the way you would build it. And you would have all of those specialty people, um, you know, as part of that team uh, to rebuild the, the, the United States or the world, whatever it might be, uh, how you would do it. So amazing stuff there. Uh, so we, we appreciate everybody joining us here. Uh, just a little update on everything that's going on for 2024. And, uh, and just wanted to give a, a hi to everybody and say, Hey, happy new year. And, um, Hey, look at all the stuff that, you know, we're doing over here. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate all of you that join us and especially for the school of Ohm as well, because that's such a, a place that you can grow so quickly. Uh, anything to add here, Jaron, before we, uh, head out. Yeah, we'll see everyone Wednesday night, two days, School of Ohm. And then yeah. we'll see everybody for the QSI show, the trio of Emily, Nick, and Manuel. It's going to be an awesome talk. Redo's Empowerment. 
Every moment is new. Every story is new. You can create a new story. Great stuff. And uh, anything else, uh, Victoria, for uh, those out there watching and uh, their journey here that they go on the fast with us and all that stuff? What do you think? Um, it's going to be fun and challenging like the next year. Um, take it with stride. Don't stress yourself out and enjoy the ride. Yeah. And everybody remember internal to external. Uh, and this is definitely when you do this fast, it's the internal ver uh, uh, really journey of self. You're going to self-discover so much about you. And one thing I put in the guidelines is get a project to do while you're fasting. Get something that's get yeah. something that's very exciting to you because you're going to open up creative channels inside of you doing this fast that's going to burst out amazing things so you might write the next amazing novel you might uh you know invent something that's never been invented before uh and you may just come up with an idea that's going to change the world so Appreciate everybody. Uh, looking forward to this fast with you guys. Remember, go to the Telegram channel to follow all of that along the fasting uh, uh, journey. And then also go to thebrittanyrenee.com slash I am limitless for your tickets for the event coming up. That's going to be a two-day event. Friday night will be a speaking uh, stage event. And then Saturday will be all-day workshops, which will be amazing. Um, and just push your limits and uh, push you into places you've never been before. And remember, if you've watched the School of Ohm, we keep it fun. We keep it uh, so adventurous that you are just enjoying yourself. This isn't something that has to be uh, painstaking, uh, you know, awful type things. You know, maybe people think about that type of type of stuff that way. This is stuff that gets your imagination bursted. This is stuff that gets your inspiration going and gets you to tap into that internal intuition and really be able to control the wheel of life, right? Don't let life from the external steer the wheel for you. You're going to take control of the wheel and you're going to control your life and where it goes and you're going to meet amazing people along that journey. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, us. And uh, again... This is Jaren, Victoria, and Greg signing out.